So some people might think what I'm about to show you and talk about is a little melodramatic, and that's fine. But for me, this photo has a lot of meaning behind it. And it's this one right here. This photo was taken on the same day it was after I shaved my beard off. And why does this photo have so much meaning to me? You see, before I met my narcissistic ex, I had gotten up to about 275 pounds. By the time I met him, I had lost about 60 pounds. So a pretty decent amount. Well, when I was at my heaviest, I had my beard because I felt like it helped cover up my face. It was a way for me to hide. And I had shaved it before I met him. Well, when I met him, he kept trying to ask me to grow my beard back out. And I kept telling him, like, I don't want to, and it's not that I think I don't look good in one, it's just what the beard represents for me. I finally got to the point where I feel comfortable enough to not have one, I really don't want to grow it out again. He literally would not let it go, like, brought it up almost every single day for a month. And finally I just got tired of hearing it, so I was just like, you know what, I will grow it out, whatever. It's just hair. And I kept that beard the entirety of our relationship. And to me, it's such a representation about they really don't care about you and about your emotions and about your needs. And it was also just one of those subtle ways for him to gain control over me. Like, yes, at the end of the day, it's just facial hair, but for me, it was a lot more than that. So I kept my beard until about a month after we broke up. And I want you to really look at the difference between me right here and me right here. You cannot tell me that there's not a difference between these two guys. For me, it was like I was finally taking off a mask that someone else had created for me. So to some of you, it may just be facial hair, but for me, it was so much more than that. And I've never grown it back since. 